Tonight, new video of that extraordinary community rescue caught on camera. Watch as this car rolls into a busy intersection in Florida. The driver passed out at the wheel. Moments later, a woman jumps out of her car to stop the vehicle and warn others before more rush in to help. We have an elderly woman that is unconscious at the wheel. Um, we got about three or four people holding her car. Tonight, that video released by Boynton Beach Police gone viral and those good Samaritans hailed as heroes. The woman inside the car now speaking out. I was shocked. I don't have words. I don't have actions. I have nothing to say how much I, I appreciate them. Lori Rabier says she suffered convulsions before stopping at the light, something doctors told her might have been caused by a new medication and her fasting in preparation for a medical procedure. Before seeing this video, how did you think that you had survived this? I didn't. I had no idea what happened. I don't remember any of it. I just thank God for people like the people who helped me and the people who stopped. New video obtained by Top Story reveals another angle of the moment her Mazda hatchback starts drifting as cars drive by. Watch the first helper leap into action, waving her arms as she runs into oncoming traffic. So I just decided to put my car in parking and just run to see if I could save her life and stop the car. Jeanette Rivera, it turns out, is Rabier's co-worker. They just left for work together. You ran into one of the busiest intersections in the city. Were you scared? No, I didn't think of nothing else. I just thought about saving a life. When Rivera got to the car, a terrifying sight. I see her like this laying down, passing out, and I bang at the window and try to open the door, but I couldn't do it. So I tried to yell and wave my hands. In my head, it was like, is she dead? Then, as the light changes, another good Samaritan runs over. A local army recruiter leaves his car to help, too. He spoke to WPTV. When I heard her say she's unconscious, she's unconscious, that's when I was like, I have to do something. Soon, more join in, using their bodies to physically stop the car. One woman supplies a dumbbell to smash through a window. The citizen rescuers manage to open a door and put the car in park before wheeling it over to a nearby parking lot. An onlooking nurse provided medical care while emergency services arrived. I was almost in tears watching this. There's different people from different places all coming together to uh, save this lady, putting themselves in harm's way. And I'm looking at that and I'm seeing angels. Police counted at least nine people who helped save Rabier. For Rabier, the shocking video bringing perspective. It's making me want to be closer to my children and my grandchildren. We're not going to be here forever and now's the time. These are really an incredible series of events there that were captured on camera. But you were telling me earlier today there was so much that was not captured on video. Absolutely, Tom. Police were telling me that there was actually a U.S. postal worker who was in her truck. She saw what was going on, got out of her truck, and was directing traffic so that these Good Samaritans and Rabier wouldn't get hit. She was just off of the camera. And also, that moment you saw a man jump in briefly into the vehicle, he was actually trying to unlock the car so that they could get to her and put the car into park. Police told me he jumped into broken glass. They still don't know if he's okay. They're in the process of trying to identify all of the people help, who helped out. They want to thank them. They're actually holding a ceremony tomorrow to celebrate them. Rabier tells me she is really looking forward to meeting all of them in person and thanking them herself. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.